Hey guys, welcome to Ham Radio with K0PIR and my YouTube channel. Last week I did a video on RDOP and WinLink Express. And today I'm doing one on VARA. It's the VARA protocol. VARA is quite a bit faster than RDOP, so this way it may be one that you like better. Okay, well, please visit my website, www.k0pir.us, and look at the article on RDOP. I'll go through a lot of information in that one, the installation, the settings, and then how to use it. I'll show you how to send an email and all that good stuff. So today, the only difference is I'm going to be using VARA. So a lot of the settings are exactly the same, sending an email is exactly the same all right the website is this one and i'll have a link to this in my article and some other links uh, on the description of vara and uh, some more helpful information but we want to download this one don't uh, get this one that's not the one we're using that's for fm we're downloading the vara hf and it's version 3.0.5 and all you have to do is click on it and it'll open up another page and then you end up getting this click on download it's in a zip file extract the zip file and then run the installation okay then we'll you go in and you open winlink express and i'm going to go ahead and go into one little area here because somebody had a question about this and in the WinLink Express properties, you enter in your call sign and password. And that password is the same password that you use when you set up your account on winlink.org. So set up the account first, and then you can go into the WinLink Express properties and set this up. Now, this information is optional, but I chose to go ahead and enter it in. So that answers that question. And then when you open WinLink Express, you'll have VARA HF WinLink in the drop-down list. I'll show you. There's RDOP right above it. And VARA right below it. VARA HF, that's the one we want, not FM. I'm going to go ahead and click on Open Session, and we'll go through these settings. You can see my radio changed bands let me move this over okay and that's what it looks like that's pretty cool i like that okay let's go into the settings the uh, vara winlink session i'm going to click on settings and then go to the tnc setup and i believe that all oh, this is the default this is where it installs the program next place we'll go is the radio setup and under the radio selection, I have uh, the model is the 7600 because they don't have the 7610 in there. They do have the 7300, though. And if you're using a different radio, they may have your radio in there. The 891, the Yezu 891 is a real popular radio. And you'll have to change the address here if you're using the 7610. Change it to 98. And then USB Digital is selected. Now I'm using a CIV cable for rig control and that CIV cable plugs into the remote jack on the back of the radio and it's COM12 and the fastest baud rate for that one is 19.2. For push to talk I'm using the 7600 and you don't have to enter in an address for that one. So I'm going to click close. And, you know, that's about it. We'll do a transmit level test, but I'll show you at a different place. That's about it for the settings in this window. So let's take a look at this window, and it's the VARA HF version 3.0.5. And we'll go to settings here. And the VARA setup. And if you do register it, this is where you set put in your registration key. Put your call sign in there. These are the defaults. 
go to sound card. And here is where we can test it. The device input is the USB audio codec. And yours probably just says uh, microphone. I changed the name under sound properties. But yours will probably just say microphone and USB audio codec. Same thing here, USB audio codec. Now I'm going to go ahead and test the drive level. And it even has a little picture here to show you where the ALC should be. So let's go ahead and test it. And you can see my radio up in the top right hand corner. Okay, I got a little bit of ALC, not quite as high as theirs. But I've moved it up here and it goes too high, so I'm just going to leave it right there. I wasn't able to do a transmission while I was doing the video because of a contest. Must be a ready contest this weekend. So this is one I did earlier. I just don't have the radio in the screen. But if you look at my previous video of RDOP, you'll see the radio in there, what the ALC goes up to, and everything else. So it's real simple. It's very similar to RDOP. Uh, sending email, creating the email and sending it is the same. The channel selection is the same. Uh, it just uh, has a different interface, and it sounds pretty cool. I'll have three additional tips on my website, so look for that article. I'll put a link below. Thanks for watching. Please remember to like, subscribe, and share. Also, tell your friends. 73 and good DX.